Hello, this is Jeff Weil from Leica in Houston, and today we're going to go over a quick video on how to compute a simple area using the Captivate CS20. That could be the data you're using on your GPS or your robotic or your focal station. Okay, so what we're going to do is pull the simulator up. I got a job here called job number two. If I flip it around, go to view and edit, if we go to 3D viewer, I got some points here. So I got point number one, and these three points here will actually be on a curve. So we'll put a curve and six and seven. So let's imagine this is a lot of land and we went out there and surveyed this in. It's a bigger tract of land. So um, I couldn't do, I'll show you later how to do the line work and you can close it in real time as you're collecting data. But let's say these points are further apart and I need to compute the area of this lot after the fact. I can also, before we go there, just imagine I could also, these points were collected with a total station or with GPS. I can also compute them if I had a deed. So I went to Kogo, I can hit Kogo, and on the first screen, there's a barren in distance. And right now, I'll set the angle right. If I have that to azimuth, I can say, right, I want to calculate a point. So I come back here, and we'll say, right, we'll pick point number one. And I'm going to go from point number one, and there's my barren. So if I came in here, I could pick the quadrant northeast. If I want to go southwest uh, 25 degrees from point number one at 45 feet. Right now, we're in... Uh, bearings. If I hit the star key here, under my hotkeys I got regional settings. Now if I come over here to angle, I've set it to bearing. So if I wanted azimuth, I can hit OK, and then I can type the azimuth in. So let's say the azimuth is 145. And once again, I want to toggle it back, I can toggle it back and use bearings. So this is a quick tip to toggle between bearings, angle rights, and azimuth. Okay? All right. And so once again, we'll start, we'll hit Southwest, go 25. If I came up to the 3D viewer, then you'd see that it's, it's calculating use that bearing and distance to calculate the points. So I just want to show you how you can do that. If you had a deed, you can calculate it to generate these points as well. Okay. I'm going to exit out of here because you have the points generated. And let's go, um, if I hit F8, as another hotkey. Uh, I can see the uh, lines here, or the points, sorry in my 3D viewer. And what I'll do is I'll go to my lines and I'm going to trick it. I'm going to say new. I'm going to create a new line. It's line number one. I'm going to rename this and call this lot number one. Okay. And red is a good color. So that's good. We'll hit OK and store that. And right now there's, there's nothing in that line. So I edit that lot number one under geometry, the second tab. I can add points. So I can say begin line. Okay. So I come in here. I got my begin line. And I could pick the point that I want to start at. So if I go to my 3D viewer, I'm going to start at point number one. So let's type in point number one. Hit OK. And then we're going to draw add continue line. And I'll go up here. And in here, we'll say it's a three point arc. So point number three is the start of the three point arc. So hit OK. And then we'll come in here and say continue three point arc. And the next point will be 3MP for midpoint. Hit OK. And we'll add the next point's continue line will be to 3PT, the point on tangent. Hit OK. And we'll add another continue line. It's going to be a straight line. And we'll pick that. Hit OK. And in this case, we'll pick the next point will be uh, number six. That will probably be over here. So we zoom in. Go from 3PT to 6. Hit OK. And we're going to add and do another straight line to point number 7. Now what we want to do is um, after point number 7, we want to close. We want to close a line. Okay, so I come here, there's a close line here. And that will close the line to convert it to an area, which is what we want. Now here's a little trick. So right now if I go to 3D viewer, um, point number seven, we want to close it. So I'll just zoom out a little bit so you can see it. Point, I want to close and create a new point number number one. I can't close on point number one, but what I can do is I can come down here and here's a nice little trick. I'll hit new. So I'll highlight point number one, hit new, and I'll call this point number eight. And it grabs the same coordinate. So in essence, it's the same point. I'll hit store, hit okay, and close that line. 
And when we hit OK and store this, this will close that line to convert to an area. Okay. And here it is there. It says lot number one closed. Yes. There's our length. There's our area and perimeter. So I go to the 3D viewer. It drew a segment with a curve around, around my, my points in my lot. Okay. So I go back to line. If I hit edit, I can go back to general and I can see a little bit better. I got an area. So right now let's, I got it in square footage. If I hit the star key, go to regional settings. And um, once again, I'll hit the angle. We, we convert the bearing. Um, what I can do now, with the first screen under distance, I can convert my area, maybe if I want US acres. And the, the regional settings is really neat to convert uh, to, to the units that you want to see. So right now there's the perimeter and there's the area. So I quickly, uh, if I collect those points, I compute them off a deed, I can calculate that area and store it. Okay, so that's a quick way to calculate an area. Um, I'm going to show you another quick little trick under Kogo. If um, I hit next, you have version five or higher, there's a rectangle function. So two points in a distance. So what I could do if I came in here to 3D viewer, um, I could actually, I got two points called 90 and 91. And what I can do if I go to the 3D viewer and then zoom into these points and zoom in, I have a straight line. And let's say this was like a pedestal of a lamp, uh, it could be a small pad, um, you want like a 90 degree. So you want to calculate points and in they're inaccessible or a manhole. What, what I can do is say from 90 to 91, if I put positive five, that's right of the line. So come back to the 3D viewer, um, see 90 to 91, it's going down. So if I put negative, then it'd be left of the line going from 90 to 91. Okay. And there we go. So if I hit calculate, it'll actually um, store these points. So I say point number nine and point number 10. And I say lot number two, or I can call this pad, say it's a pad, concrete pad. Number one, and you can put whatever color you want. Okay. All right. And same thing. So once again, it's a very small area. Hit store. And that's how you can calculate like a small pad or a lamp, the base of the lamp. Okay. And once again, we escape out of here, I'll hit F8. Um, look at my lines. Once again, there's, there's my second line. The concrete pad is very small. So I hit star, regional settings. And if it's square footage, that might make a little bit more sense. Okay. It was 50 square feet. Okay. So I just want to show a quick video uh, using Coco or collected points on how to uh, collect, close, and create an area. A couple quick settings. If I hit settings, customization, coding, I have the create line work on, so that allowed me to close out everything. If I was collecting data in real time in the field under the measure screen, um, we come in here and pick these points. And right now I'd have to have a point to close out on, but I can begin a line. It, the close line would come out when I had several points on that line that can close back, close that figure. But that would be how you can code on the fly. A lot of times also, if I hit the star key and look at my hotkeys, I'll set like a hotkey F9 and F10 for start line, start three point arc. So as I'm collecting data in the field, I can, I can hit one button to, to do my line commands. So that's a nice little tip that works out as well. Okay, so it now shows the lines on the screen. If I start collecting, I can see it. And once again, if I go back to point management, here's my job number two, go to lines. The, the, this is a quick way just for you to calculate a quick area in the field. Okay, so hopefully that was helpful um, and you found it beneficial.